before we get started, we've got to make sure we have all the all the all the bits and pieces and the equipment ready. So here we've got an implant motor. That would be a that would be the best way to go about the placement. Um, you have a speed at 1,500 revolutions per minute and torque at 40. Do not exceed this figure. And just a little bit of irrigation. That's set at the first level. Okay, with the micro implant kit, we have got our contra angle contra angle adapter and a contra angle extension arm. Um, I'll show you how that works later with a pilot drill. Uh, we've got a Im actually an implant initial drill. Uh, you can use whichever pilot drill you feel suitable for, and you, and the purpose of the pilot drill is just to penetrate the first one or two millimeters of bone. Okay. We have already given a bit of topical just now, so we're going to give a bit more. Uh, okay. Bit more better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, take a moment. Mm. So you. Okay, don't worry. Injection is the worst part. I'll be very gentle. Mm. Okay, so I want to rub the topical in as much as we can. Uh, probably can I have another glove, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just big A now, your nose, big R. Uh. Okay. All done, that's it. All done, you did very well. That's the worst part. Uh. Big R. Alright, let's get a suction done. Okay, don't worry, no pain, huh? don't worry. So, here we are starting the pilot drilling. Well, we just only want one or two millimeters on into the bowl. Open wider, my dear. That's it. Oh, yeah. ah. Well done. Okay, well done, well done. There's actually a guide on the pilot drill to tell you, but you just you, know, you don't want to reach the guide, just one or two millimeters into the bone and that's it. Okay. That's one there and do one more. Open one. Almost finished. Okay. Now we've got to change the settings on the machine. So uh, we've got the speed at 40 revolutions per minute and the torque at 40 and we've cut down the irrigation as you don't need that. Now have a look at the contra angle. We have a extension arm and as well as the contra angle adapter. The reason for this is that if you don't if you don't have this extra extension then this head will hit the dentition before the pin is inserted so you'll have an obstruction to the insertion. When picking up the micro implant from the micro implant kit and the holder make sure that the shaft is at 90 degrees to the base of the container and just rotate it around left to right until that you are certain that the micro implant is held within the holder and then lift. Pause. <laughs> Pop in, uh, open wide, uh. Open wider for me. Uh. Open wider. Uh. It's okay, I won't, don't, won't start insertion yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, I'll wait for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, then you bend to which angle that you need. Alright, so now we are having it at 90 degrees to the pallet. Note that the arm has got good clearance. I mean the the, the contra angle has got good clearance to the dentition. And we're starting to insert. Okay. We insert down to the base of the head. 
Um, as the contra-angle starts to contact the mucosa, we will stop the insertion. There we go. You do not need any pressure at all. Just let the pin go in. There shouldn't be any pain for the patient. So breathe in out of your nose. That's it. And... Done. Okay. When withdrawing the contra-angle, usually one part comes out first. That's okay. Just gently ease it out with your fingers. That's it. I didn't get that far. Okay. Alright. So make sure that um, this does not touch the soft tissue. Open wide. Open wider, open wider. That's it. Thanks for that. Alright. Angle it 90 degrees. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for the open wider for me. Okay. So again, the placement of the pin and the contra angle is at 90 degrees to the base of the palate, at just lateral to the mid palatal suture. We'll stop the insertion once the contra angle touches the base of the mucosa.